join me as we go behind the scenes in the Freedom Office, showing how we train our staff to learn about KYC Know Your Channel that reviews all of your channels. Let's go. For YouTube's sake, uh, this is a video that we're creating to show you how we train our staff and the process we use for making sure all of our reviews are consistent in our own policy efforts. Come up to the microphone and tell us what your process is for reviewing a channel. Maybe that PewDiePie says the okay, N-word. Let's, let's have a look at this one. For this one, he shows PewDiePie footage for about 30 seconds of PewDiePie saying the N-word. Yeah. And then he talks for the other 10 minutes about that. And then there's another one, if you press the number between the numbers one to nine, that jumps to the 10% point. So five goes to 50% of the video, four goes to 40% of the video, three goes to 30%. <laughs> you learn something new again. I'm a good teacher today. It's an Indian channel, Tech India Tips. Yeah, he's got things like free products from Paytim, free shipping with proof. And there's a few other places where he's like, five best ways to earn money online free. So welcome everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us in today's educational session about channel review quality. We're gonna go over several channels that I've personally reviewed that have been reviewed by others and sharing my opinion and where it differs from the opinion that uh, the reviewer had. The whole purpose of this is to make sure everyone gives consistent reviews regardless of who it is. So starting with the games, <laughs> 133,000 subscribers. What is the process you go through in order to create an opinion for a channel like this? I'll just pick on someone then. Uh, Ronaldo, if you could come up to the microphone and tell us what your process is for reviewing a channel. What do you look at first? What do you look at second? And then looking at this channel, what would your conclusion be? Oh. Go ahead. Um. I go to the dashboard and check the earnings. Okay. Historical earnings. Yeah. Year to date, lifetime. Okay. I take a look at how long the channel has been with us. Yeah. Before I go to the content. I check the trajectory of the earnings for the last 12 months. Okay. If there's a huge spike within the last few months, I check, that's the time that I check the actual content. Right. Then so I go to the usual. causing these spikes in revenue. Exactly. Then after that, I go to the usual or traditional review that we do. I take a look at how the video is tagged, how it's described, and if the, okay, I have so encountered- look at a few videos. Based on the thumbnails, how do you look at the thumbnails? How does that influence your decision? I normally put that into recommendations if I see opportunities in the thumbnails, like it's, if it's too bland, it doesn't sync with the actual uh, character or the branding of the channel, things like that. Would that be for advice for the creator to improve or would that be for grounds for unlinking? Oh no, definitely that's for approval of the creator. That that would just be a recommendation, but it would not oh, factor to help in. The creator yep. improve. Yeah. Like a training. Yes. Okay, so looking at these this description, what do you what would you say? I'm not familiar with the game, but I I would check normally if the download link would be directed to the official game okay, link. Okay, let's try that. How to download, but that's another video, but let's take a look at the yep. video. So it's another video on the same channel, how to download Jurassic Park World Alive. Scroll down. So let's see where it's telling us. Oh, so we're saying search for Jurassic World Alive on Google Play. Well, that's pretty simple. Ah, so they're saying, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I think that's okay because it's still being directed to Google Play. Yeah, so that's gonna be okay. Then I look if there are any fishy stuff like repeating ta repeating um, phrases. If yeah, there are in the description. Yep, yep. I would also check the content section, comment comment section. Sorry. The comments in the videos. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because there there are, there are cases where the comments are like e e e g g g. They're like spamming and. Right. You want to look for anything that's botted, spamming or otherwise not a real human. Yep. Now do a search. Search for hack. Oh, okay. Let's see. What do we see? How to hack angry birds. Okay, scroll down. Okay. Oh, actually, oh, yeah, let's look at the video. Why not? I was going to say just to see if there are other hacking videos or is this like just one? This is not clear to me if he's using a third-party tool to hack it, it or is, if he's... Is, uh, is it? Is it? It is. It is. It is a third-party tool to hack the game. 
it uses the same principle as bypassing the permits for APK files for Android. Right. So it's a little technical, but if you do that, you don't have to pay for coins, you don't have to pay for the licenses. If we scroll down, we see, yes, one hack. The others don't look like they have anything to do with hacking, just regular gameplay videos. So what would your uh, opinion be no. knowing there's one hacking video? I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't unlink that channel. And why? Yeah. Um, why would you cut the business relationship when that can be, you know, amended? It, it is okay. definitely right. an action point, but you have to take a look at what the channel brings to the network. Take take a look at the big picture, then just putting your putting the scope on just one video. Yeah. That can easily be fixed. So, when I looked at this particular review, the reason for unlinking was hacking. But of course, it's only one video out of probably hundreds, if not thousands, of videos yeah. that look to be okay. So. It's very important that we look at the total channel, just like Ronaldo said. And if it's like every other video is a hacking video, all right, unlink. If it's one, two, even like five hacking videos, but there's 500 good videos, let's contact the channel owner, explain to him that this is not acceptable, delete those videos. And then if he's not responsive or if he's not uh, doing that, we may unlink him because obviously we don't want to work with someone who's uh, who doesn't listen to our advice when we know we're right. <laughs> uh, but just based on this, I you know my opinion was keep for these for, the, for those reasons. Does that make sense? Yep. Agree. So if you go to the next channel, so if you scroll up, uh, this is another channel. It's a it's an Indian channel, Tech India Tips. Now Tech India Tips was also recommended to unlink making potentially fraudulent claims about earning money. So yeah, the channel has one strike takedown and one takedown. Uh, they do have some URL shorteners. Uh, they don't use any external links. So there's some questionable practices which we would need to ask the, the channel owner about. It's okay to have an opinion on how to make money as long as he's not showing how to abuse or hack or like get credit cards for free, things like that, which is Ill illegal. If it's an opinion saying like, hey, this is my best way to earn money online free, even if we disagree with it, maybe not. What characteristics would you look for to decide whether to unlink a channel for making claims about making money? Um, uh, basing my opinion on Tech India Tips, if I saw only one or two videos claiming for like earning money, like illegally, stuff like that. If it's only one or two, then I think it could be fixed. But if the rest of his channel are more on vlogs, something like that, then I think he has a real intention with his channel to uh, grow even further. So I think if that's the case, I would talk to the partner and um, suggest that he sort of revise his titles or his content around the um, illegally making uh, uh, extra money. He sort of uses some clickbait titles stuff like that or clickbait thumbnails what's important is to really look at the content of the videos and see if uh, the videos really speaks of uh, those clickbait titles so it relies on the content itself okay. yeah and the part of the challenge is he doesn't speak in English he does speak in Hindi uh, or some Indian language but we do have people who know Hindi and the other Indian languages so if it is a question of well we just need to know what he's saying, yes. then we can always ask those people that we have in India to, to help us understand the content uh, of, of, of the video. But you're right, um, he should be flagged for like uh, outreach to help us better understand the kind of content he's creating. What is his goals? Why is he doing these kinds of videos? Is it working? Maybe we can suggest other videos that he could do that would be help his channel grow even better. So this is what we're trying to get to is this full service coaching model where we become the, uh, I don't know what the equivalent, like a football coach saying to every channel, if we feel they, they need our help, uh, we give them that advice and then follow up to see if they've taken the advice. Because I think this is a good example of a concert video that is fine because it's really a 24 minute video of him getting ready for the concert, going to the concert. Even if he shows some of the concert footage, 
I think it's fine because that's a very small part of the video. The black veil brights was the biggest red flag I can remember because that's this that's one like here. one of the first few yeah. channels so I've had 200 I know, go through my brain many, many afterwards. Channels. This is the care that we spend in reviewing all of your channels to make sure we only unlink the people that deserve to be unlinked. Never kill a Mozart. That's what we strive to do. We never want any of you who are potential stars in YouTube to be demotivated because you get unlinked for the wrong reasons. But it's a process and we make mistakes because we're human. So if you feel you've been unlinked by mistake, email freedom or support at freedom.tm and we will look at your case again and make sure we give you a meaningful reply based on our decision to reinvite you or keep you unlinked. And we'll always give you suggestions on how to improve. Click that eye to see all of these KYC series that I've made that teaches you the things we've seen that I feel will help you grow and keep your channel safe so that we can all grow together as a family. That is the spirit of freedom. We all help each other grow together as a family. Who am I? Well, I'm your Papa George, George Sunpai, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom for Freedom and the Freedom Family. And all of you amazing, soon to be Mozarts, hopefully, who are growing with us. This has been a special behind the scenes and I'll get back to my normal videos soon. Just so you know, we have hours of this footage. This was only 10 minutes worth. Do you want to see more of it? Tell me down there in the comments below if you do. We certainly have no shortage of it. I just think this is not as exciting as the episodes I make. But if you disagree, if you think this is exciting, I'll be happy to make more videos of these behind the scene KYCs. Till then guys, keep safe. And you've been watching Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.